Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Jeffrey and today I wanted to show you guys my daily note template that I built in Rome Research using Smart Blocks. Now your daily note page is your home base and I think making a template that allows you to do your work more easily in a frictionless way is something that's really important and this is one that I have been playing around with, tinkering with for quite a while. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I have it set up, what are the different sections that are included in my daily note page, as well as a little bit about how I set up the smart box themselves. So let's dive in and take a look. So here is my daily note template as it would appear on my daily note page. And there's a couple of reasons why I have it organized the way that I do. The things that are most important or that I'm going to use more often are near the top of the page and things I use less often uh, like journaling will be at the bottom. I also have it broken up into sections so that I can easily collapse everything uh, to make it look neat and clean on the page and where I can expand it um, to see everything that's, that's here. So the first section that I have is my daily highlight. This is where I write uh, what the most important or impactful thing that I want to do that day is. And I keep it nice front and center so it's, it's always on my mind and a reminder. The second item that I have is time tracking, which is something that I'm playing around with to try and be more purposeful and not context switch as much. So I have this button here that when I press it, it will create the section and then I can record whenever I'm consuming information, whenever I'm writing my notes or digesting that information, or when I'm creating something uh, with that information. I'm planning on doing a, another video where I talk about this more in detail uh, if I see any value of doing it long term. My next section is a working area. So it's just a blank space where anything that I might want to just quick capture or make a to-do item can show up uh, and it's just extra blank space to to kind of use throughout the, the day. The next two sections are where I capture my thoughts and ideas and they're broken up into either content creation or journaling. So content creation being things that I might want to share with a broader audience and journaling are things that I just want to keep for myself. Now for a content creation you can go and see my incremental content creation video. I'll put a link uh, down in the description below as well as a, a card up on the screen. But seedling is just kind of any idea that I have. And I have this button set up so that when I click it, I create its own section for seedlings, adds the tag, and then I can immediately just start uh, writing my idea. And then it also adds another button so that I can continue to add more and more ideas as I, I get them. And I can also collapse it when I'm not using it so it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the screen. The next five sections are really just for my newsletter, The Weekly Pearl, which if you haven't checked out, you can head over to jeffreyweber.com and sign up uh, for that. But this just is a simple button that adds the attribute for that particular section and then I can just start writing whatever's on my, my mind. And then that way the buttons are also really good because this attribute, if I don't have anything that fits in that category for the day, it won't show up unless I click the button. So I don't end up having a bunch of links left unused. And I got this idea for the buttons from a Rome Stack article uh, from Ramses where he talked about just not overwhelming the page, only having things there when you need to use them and not creating a bunch of these uh, empty links that you go back in and have to delete all the time. So I'll, I'll include a link down in the description to uh, the Rome Stack uh, website, a lot of really good uh, resources and articles and ideas uh, that are generated uh, there. The next section is for journaling. So I start the day with my morning journaling already pre-populated because I want to do that every single day. I do a quick review of my not to-do list, my morning pages, and I have set up a word count. So I try and hit a particular uh, number of words each morning to try and encourage me to just write whatever's on my mind. 
Uh, you can check out a video. I'll put a link to uh, where I talk more about journaling and, and the benefits that I've seen from, from that. And then I just do a bit of gratitude journaling and some affirmations. And again, all these sections are collapsible so that I, I like having a neat and clean looking daily note page so that I'm not distracted by a bunch of unnecessary information when I'm doing my, my work. And then I've been playing around with interstitial journaling. So this creates a section as well as the time that I did it so that what I'm writing is time bound as well as creating a page uh, link to interstitial journaling so I can go in and review if I want to all of the journal entries that I've made. And then it also adds another button so that when I click it, it adds another time based reference. And then finally, my evening journaling practice where I just think about some positive things that happened during the day, as well as where was some friction um, in the day, things that could have gone better, why didn't they go as good as what I had hoped. So that's my daily note page overview. Now how I have this set up using smart blocks. So all of the smart blocks that I have set up to run my daily note page are contained on this one page here. I'm not going to go through everything in detail, but I will highlight a few things, for instance, how button is set up. So to set up a button within the braces, you put the first part is what you want displayed for the button. So here, time tracking. And then after the colon, you put smart block and then the name of the smart block that you want to run uh, here. And then I have a couple different types of buttons set up. So for instance, I have simple ones where it just calls the attribute that I want to be added as well as where I want the cursor to go. I have some buttons that create whole new sections. For instance, interstitial journaling. If I expand this one, you can see it creates the, the header, adds the current time as well as where it places the cursor, and then it adds another button to continue with that section. And then I have another smart block to run where it just is a continuation of that section, adding the new button as it goes. So one last thing I'll show you how to do with smart blocks is how to set it up so that it automatically populates on your daily note page each day. So if you go to the Rome JS smart blocks page in your graph, you can go to the daily section and enable the workflow to automatically populate a specific smart block within your graph. So you enable that, you put this workflow name. So this is the name of the uh, smart block that you want to run. So I have it just called daily. And then you can also set the time that you want that smart block to run each and every day. I just set it for 1 a.m. so that it's ready for me to go uh, when I wake up in the morning. So that's how I have my daily note page set up. I think it's really important to have a structure enough to kind of put some guideposts in for you for doing your work especially if you're doing things over and over again, using the, the template from smart blocks are a really powerful tool to make your work even more frictionless so that you're more likely to do it as well as the buttons idea. And thanks to Ramsey's from uh, Rome stack for that idea, because they're just so fun to use that I find myself wanting to make entries just so I get to click the button. So anything that we can do to make our system, more frictionless and fun to use. I think just encourages us to use it all that um, much more. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any thoughts, ideas, or found anything useful in this video. Again, check the description down below for a bunch more resources on this topic, and I will see you all next time.